Lofkin, big win tonight, big win tonight on HBO's air. Just talk about, you know, you did what you said you were going to do. Oh, yeah, right. Big day for me and for my fans, you know, for everybody. Because, you know, my, excuse me, my team, you know, just big day today. for me. Big day for me. What did you see out there? Was it, was it the way you thought it would be from the from the opening bell? You know, uh, I feel it's great. Today. Uh, you know, I think not very difficult fight for me. After first round, I feel like, you know, this, I feel my distance, I feel my power. Easy, easy fight. Thank you. Do you think he was in fear of you very, very much from the early in the fight? I think he's not scary. You know, just he understands situation. You know, just after the first round. And the same situation, you know, just a little panic. I just I give him just a couple, couple of times, you know, just a couple of shots, you know, in my corner, and just I know, just I wait. Talk about the body shot. Right. <laughs> you know, this. Just I feel my. This is my combination. This is my present for him. Just, you know, just this is my position. This is not my power. Not this is combination. This is box. I have good position. I did. You know, just. Did you know he would be open for that? Uh, yes, yes, I think yes. <laughs> What's next? I know that's the big question tonight. What is next? You know, just right now I'm going to join my, with my family. I'm going to vacation. I come back in August, just training. You know, I won't fight for everybody. I'm open for everybody. You know, just. You've talked about Sergio Martinez for a very long time. Lou DiBello is here and explained to everyone that Sergio is probably a year out before he can fight again. Certainly, you're going to have opportunities prior to that. Who are some of the names that you're interested in taking on? Right, I understand my situation. I understand Sergio in opposition. Uh, right, he needs uh, rehabilitation. No time for rehabilitation. I think it's a great fight next year. You know, for in the future. <laughs> For me, it doesn't matter. It's, right now, it's a big focus for middleweight. Right now, it's a big name. You know, there's a lot of champions. Daniel Gill, Peter Gullen, and Julio Tadechev Jr. is a big name. You know, just the Murray is a big name, too. I remember last fight. Just doesn't matter. Another fight that people are talking about down the road is Andre Ward. And he, of course, was in the building tonight calling the fight. How important was it to send the message you sent with him sitting ringside to see you dem demolish Macklin in the fashion you did? Absolutely, yes. Because, you know, okay, right now my focus is middle. In the future, yes, absolutely. I respect and he's the best uh, super champion, you know, super uh, middle for me. I think it's a great fight for everybody, for fans, for TV, for business, you know, for, for everybody. And lastly, Abel shared with us just now that you're the biggest fight that you want, the fight that you want more than any other fight, is Floyd Mayweather Jr. Is that accurate? And he's got, uh, let's see, four fights left after the Canelo fight. Do you think there's enough time left in his career where you might square off with him? Uh, you know, this is my dream. Seriously, this is my dream. This is a big present for me. No, this is my dream. This is business. Come on, guys, this is business. Yep. Thank you very much for a few minutes of your time. Great to work tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Question. To go from overnight status, you know, you were the guy they talked about and nobody wanted to fight. People knew who you were, but now to make such an impact, you're becoming an instant celebrity overnight. People are going to be talking about you now in a performance like this. Uh, you know. You ready to wear that crown? I don't feel, you know, I don't feel, you know, I'm. I'm not ready for like celebrity like you know, just no. Just I'm a regular man. Just I'm a regular fighter. You know this this fight last fight is a regular fight for me. Not don't have no stress and pain. No, this is my job. You know this is my work. I think people what we want to know is it looks so easy for you in there. We haven't seen a fighter this that puts on this type of pressure, this mental pressure on his opponents. Looks so balanced in positions in there and lets his punches go with lethal force. Where did this come from? Yeah, no, I don't know. This is my hard work every day. You know, just give me just time. Give me just time. I show you. Just I show you for everybody. Just, you know, my class. My class. 
Uh, one more question uh, from the heavyweight. Uh, Brian Jennings, one of the best heavyweights, was watching you fight, and he says the one of the things that he admires the most, you don't waste any punch, any second in the ring. Everything is very calculated. So you're like a chess master who sees a couple of punches ahead. Is it something behind him? Do you play, play chess? You know, it, you know, this is my style. You know, this is my style, you know, I have. Oh, I still, yeah, you have, you know, predator instinct. This is my predator instinct. I, no, for me, nothing serious, just points. You know, I can point just, this is my amateur career. Just, you know, right now, I'm profit. I know, I have predator instinct, this is my style. So different, but, but, but it, it is something it's about nice. you seeing a little bit ahead. It's just not the one punch ahead, but it's maybe, uh, uh, you know, seeing something, you know, going into the future, develop in the ring. <laughs> Right, right. You cannot buy this, you cannot learn it, you have to have it. Right, you know, I know how. You know, just you know how. I know you how, just know. I did it. You know, just I can, I did. Thank you very much. You're Hitting welcome. with a smile. Thank you. you <laughs>